Today we are working on some custom Louis V for some OTS, the football Gator prep. And I'm about to show you how I do this step by step. So stay tuned because these is looking crazy. So first we're going to get these laces out of here. Anytime you're working with cleats, you got to sand it down. I use a green scot bike pad and use an extra sander piece. So we got to make sure these is durable. Already done, put on some acetone. We're going to just rub this right off of here. So first step, I'm going to Etsy and get some stencils just because I want to make sure that I can get these done in time because I only have one day to work on these. So this ended up being all the way in Norwegian. I had to convert it to US dollars. But now we got this downloaded. So if you guys do need the stencil now, I got it. If you need it, I can send this to you. Link in the description will be for all the tools that I use on this project. Right now I'm on Cricut, add my PNG files onto Cricut. If you don't have Cricut, make sure you download it. You will have to have a Cricut Explorer. So now right here, we're taking out all the negative options on the actual stencils so I can make sure that I could take the positive part of the stencil and place it on the shoe and be able to spray it like an easy stencil. So we got that all weeded out what I want. I'm gonna put this to our canvas, but for some reason it wasn't working, so I just had to restart the whole Cricut app, and that should do the trick to make it work properly. All right, get it right there, add that to the property, get it down to the size because that was way too big. That's so why I got it down to the size for the shoes. I'm going to look for my font. I didn't find anything that I wanted as font wise. So I'm going to use the font as what I use for most of my fonts. I've made it in a quick time lapse, but we're getting that on there with the OTS. I'll make sure I offset it so you can see right there that offset did a trick. I love doing that. We're making our own stencils. Like I said, if you need your stencils made, hit your boy up, email down below get the airbrush in our base layer with the white. Did about three coats to get this a solid white. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe too if you're not already subscribed. I'm giving a whole bunch of game out. Join the nation. Join the nation now. So I'm using Alpha Flex. This is my first time ever using their type of paint and I really like it. I ain't gonna lie. So it's a mix of Angelus and Alpha Flex, what I normally use for my customs. And the shoes. Laying down our transfer tape now. Boom. Get that base layer, because we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show you on the next step. Going ahead and getting that section eight nutty put down for the stencil. So we're gonna weed this all out using an exacto knife. Getting on there just like that goes on nicely. You can use a heat gun tool as well to try to help you out, but I just make sure that I roll it back and press down as well. Like roll and press down so I can make sure that sticks sticks on there nicely. And we're gonna take some flat black from Angelus Direct. We're gonna paint in our outline of the actual stencil. This was already looking good. Right here is already looking good. Like come on now, this is an art right here. This is love passion in every shoe that we do so if you're going to be customizing shoes for your clients make sure that you put the time into it make them stand out that's what it's all about at the nation see i'm watching some anime too keeping me occupied section eight nutty it was going crazy too they gonna be out there in atlanta they got a tournament and they were going crazy already already they gonna win it all so we're using the alpha flex it only took me about like two layers like it's very opaque that's what i like about them so i got that back down background down you see i put the stencil down already it's my bad i didn't i thought it was recording but it wasn't but if you guys wanted a tutorial on how to use louis v stencils you see me weeding out right now section by section and then i just leave the little spots in there for right now and then once it's on the shoes i'll take them off but 
this is a little bit more difficult, but like I said, just keep peeling back and pressing down. It's going to get you right. So let's get that OTS stencil on the toe box. It's that Alpha Flex too as well. It only took me like two coats. Very opaque. Mixed in with that Angelus Direct. It's, what's the difference between Angelus Direct and Alpha Flex? Angelus Direct is like more watery. So anytime you got to use purple or like green, it's, it just takes way longer trying to prep, um, brush it. So that's why I like about Alpha Flex. But you see how weed it off, took all them stencils off. And this is looking so amazing. Beautiful. Beautiful. I did my airbrush background too as well, my signature. But now this is my first time working on a football black plate. So I had to try to make sure it was going to be durable. So we're going to use that scratch bike as well. Because anything plastic or metal, you got to sand it out to open up the pores. So we got that all sanded. We're going to use some create text. Get our base layer down because it don't need to be flexible because it's not a shoe with it that we're working on right now. But I'm going to lay some tape down, get it all masked up because we're about to add our Louis V back plate. Getting a Louis V football back plate. Tell me he ain't the freshest on the field. Come on now. So let's get that weeded down right there. I put some of the Alpha Flex in the airbrush too. They thin it out with water, but I use Andrew's Direct too thin to thin my paint out. And we get it on there. It took about like three coats. The Alpha Flex as well. We can just paint right over any color, and it gets it in about three to four coats. Let me know if any other type of videos you guys would like to have me create because I'm in a creative fantasy. Like I'm creating and I'm going to drop videos for y'all so y'all can learn or just get entertained. That's what I'm here for. It'll be an educator, entertainer, painter, vibing. So you got our, what I made my paint, how I made it to be a shadow like that. I just add a little bit of flat black. You don't got to add too much, but it automatic darkens the color. Yeah, I'm tired for those lines, boy. Them clean lines. We clean lines over here now. Handy Danny Painter at the Nation. Creating art, man, it's amazing. That came out crazy. Look at that. I outdid myself. I outdid myself right here. We spraying some finisher on here. I, I think it was, um, I'm gonna have to see it later what that finisher was, but these came out crazy. Look at that, so vibrant, so vibrant. If this helped you out at all, drop a like down below. If you're not subscribed, subscribe. If you made it to the end of this video, type. If you made it to the end of the video, type in section eight nutty. Come on now. Thanks for watching.